Hey, it's Krober here at MaddenGuides.com. And I'm going to show you a play out of the single back ace that's called Play Action Tight End Screen. But before I get to actually showing this play, I want to mention something that's pretty important to me. And for you guys who have followed me over the last uh, several, several years, you guys know that I had a son that's been playing football and uh, started out in first grade and I coached him up to sixth grade. That's kind of how I got involved with the um, the X's O's football site that's the sister site to the Madden Guide site. And uh, one of the things I enjoyed doing was coaching him. Anyways, at some point he got to go, we moved and we went to another school and I got I didn't get to coach him anymore. But uh, the coaches took him over, took him under his wing and started coaching him. And uh, this year he was a junior and he ended up uh, going to state in football, in high school football here in Illinois in 3A football. They made it to state, which was a huge deal for our community. And um, they end up winning state, to be honest with you. They went up uh, winning 46-42 against a powerhouse team here in uh, Illinois that uh, has been known for their running attack that they had. And it was just a great game and um, something that I've uh, been following for the last, uh, you know, my son since first grade. But obviously, over the last six, seven weeks, we got kind of busy with the whole football thing. So I hadn't had a chance really to do any breakdowns. So with that said, um, I just want to get back in and start trying to break some plays down for Madden. And this uh, play that we're going to show out of the 49ers playbook is called uh, Single Back Ace Play Action Tight End Screen. And this is a play that was added to the new playbook feature that they got. It's called Live Playbooks. And so to be able to find this, you have to switch on Live Playbooks either in the option menu or go into the advanced settings right when you're in the uh, selection team screen and just uh, select uh, Live Playbooks. And then you'll be able to have this particular play. So it's kind of a cool play. And I wanted to just go ahead and break it down to you. And uh, let's just go ahead and talk about it. So let's get into the actual uh, field here. And then we'll kind of break it down a little bit. And something that uh, you guys might be interested in running as far as with a play that uh, might be something that uh, will certainly uh, give you something to run. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And as I mentioned, the tight end is he's lined up right here. And he's the run that, at least the tight end one, the number one tight end on your def chart. He runs this screen route over here. He just kind of comes out in this area here. And then he's going to have two linemen that are going to come out here and block for him. So there's the uh, the right guard. And you're also going to have the uh, right tackle coming out and blocking. So that's it right there as far as the play goes. Now, I'm going to run this as is. And then I'm going to show you something you might want to add to it just to help out a little bit with the uh, pass protection. For this play, we're just going to run this against the 4-3 normal, cover three, sky press. I believe that's the defense we're running this against. And just keep in mind, you can run this against other defenses as well and have some success with it. So let's just go ahead and run to play as is without doing a whole lot. And then right there, we'll try to pick up some yardage here. And we pick up, what, four or five, maybe it's five yards right there. So I want to go in instant replay because I want to show you guys something with this play and something you might want to add to it to help out. Again, with the pass protection. You notice I didn't get sacked, which was good. But sometimes with this play, you got to watch out. Because if you remember right, earlier I talked about these two linemen pulling. So you got that uh, right guard, and then you also got this right tackle pulling out here. Well, what you're hoping for is that somebody else is going to pick up this guy right here, which is this left end who comes off this edge. Now, as long as someone picks him up, then it's going to work. But sometimes he doesn't get picked up. And if he doesn't get picked up, then you're end up getting, your quarterback's going to get really going to get messed up. Fortunately, right here, as you watch, you're going to see that the center, as you look at it, picks him up, which is good. But sometimes that doesn't always work out that way. And if it doesn't, if that doesn't help, then you're not going to end up uh, being able to throw this pass right here towards the tight end and pick up the positive yards, such as what I just showed there. So one of the things you might consider doing with this play as you run it is to go ahead and take control of the tight end two, which is the one on the left, and just motion him over to the right and then start snapping the ball. Just start hitting that A button. And then if you do that, you're going to get that. Oh, hit the wrong throw there, but hopefully I don't get picked off. But um, don't hit the wrong button like I just did there. But uh, when you run this, let's go ahead and do it again. Same thing. Go ahead and put him in motion and then start snapping that ball. And then once it snaps, then you can just get plenty, you get a little extra time to make that throw. And then you can try to pick up that yards there. Again, we picked up four or five yards there. So what that does is, let's just go ahead and put him in motion one more time. What this does is gives you that extra blocker towards the right. And it'll help you out with the uh, the blocking that you might have. 
And then we're going to pick up some positive yardage there. So we picked up five yards. So what that does is it helps as far as give you that extra time that you may not have if you don't do this. So that's why I wanted to show that to you, just to give you a little heads up on this when you run this play, if you just choose to run it. So there's the play action. And then right there, you can see that we get that extra blocker there. Now, the tight end didn't pick him up there, but the um, the tight end I moved over, but the tight end did give you double block in there. And then the center was able to slide over and still get this guy. So we ended up getting the blocking. And the cool thing about this is it really doesn't change the coverages up all that much. You're not really going to probably look to throw that tight end anyways. So remember, he if you go back and look at the tight end too, which we'll go back here in a second, he actually, I believe, runs a post route. But by getting him out there, it gives you that extra plot blocker. And then you still get those two guys out there to go ahead and block there. And then the other thing I want to show you, if we're looking down, Phil, let's go and rewind it just a little bit here. This guy out here, which is the outside receiver, he's running that uh, streak down the right sideline. He's still going to go out. Now, you can motion him. I want to show you something else. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking of this. But you can motion that receiver to the inside and have him pass block as well. The problem with that is it's going to leave the defender that's covering him in that area where that screen is going to be ran. So let's go ahead and look at that. I want to show that to you what I mean by that. So let's go and run that. This guy right here, which is the uh, – this receiver here, which is going to be the flanker lined up out here, this defender right here is the one covering him. Even though it's his own coverage, he's still going to come to the inside and watch. I'm just going to go ahead and snap it to the inside here. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it. But now, unfortunately, I've got that extra defender in the box that I, maybe I didn't want there. And that's going to be that uh, one I just showed you. So let's go back into uh, go back in this replay. So again, I want you guys to focus in on this, uh, this defender right here, that corner. Watch what he does there. See how he stays in that area? Now he's in this area, and he's in the screen area where we're throwing that screen. So that's the reason you probably don't want to motion that uh, flanker in motion and have him pass block, because if you do that, it's going to allow that guy to be in there, and you don't want that. So, And the other thing is, by not motioning him and motioning, if you decide to do what I'm doing here, if you go back to the outside here, by having this receiver run this uh, go route, and then it draws, not only does it draw this corner out deep, it may draw another defender as well, deep outside to the outside. So that's why you want to have him run that uh, go route, and you don't want to motion him and have him pass block. If you're going to go with someone to pass block, then you want to have this guy, which is the tight end two, and just snap that ball, and then he'll be your extra blocker, and then you get all these extra blockers. Now, I didn't get the setup I wanted there, but that's why you do that, okay? And then if you go back into uh, – the thing right here as far as the play art you can see that the tight end as i mentioned earlier the tight end two runs that post route so at any rate this is a play that you guys can run that uh, allow you to maybe you know if you've got a really good tight end such as kittle here or the 49ers to give you a chance to pick up some yardage uh right there I only picked up what five or six yards most of the time but you might pick up more than that especially if it's against a blitz and um it's certainly a play that was worth looking at and i wanted to show it to you guys in this breakdown so again uh, hopefully you guys will get back and enjoy some of my videos. I know I haven't posted anything in a while. Um, I do apologize. Like I said, my son kind of took up a lot of my time over here in the last six, seven weeks. And that's why I haven't had as much time as I wanted to. Um, I noticed that I have gotten a lot more subscribers, which is great. That makes me really happy. So if you guys are watching this video and you guys have not subscribed to these uh, Madden Guides uh, YouTube channel, please do so. That's a great thing to do. And also don't forget to check out the uh, MaddenGuides.com site. There's still a lot of content up there that you guys can check out. And if you're looking for more of the real football strategies, XSOsFootball.com has a lot of it as well as far as real football strategies. And, um, again, I enjoy doing the video breakdowns for you guys.